Hi guys, I'm Talisa with Talisa Aquarist. Today I'm going to be showing you all of my fish tanks for the first time. They're still a work in progress, but I'm excited to show you guys, so let's get started, Here shall I would we? start by showing you guys my fish tank shelf. There's just four tanks on it. So the top two are five and a half gallons housed by beta fish. This is Sebastian. He is a veil tail beta. I haven't had him for very long. He was a drop off at, or just like an intake at the fish store that I go to. Hey Sebastian. Oh, sorry, my camera's not focusing. There we go. <laughs> He's not flaring. Normally he flares when he sees me. So yeah, that's his five and a half gallon tank. Over here is Nemo's five and a half gallon tank. I'm not sure where he's at. Hopefully he comes out and says hello here, hello here in a bit. Oh, he's back there. Can't really see him. I guess he doesn't want to make an appearance for YouTube. <laughs> and down here I have a 20 gallon tall tank that I have a little baby goldfish in and two endlers. Right there's one. I'm not sure where the other one's at. But typically you should have a goldfish in a minimum of 30 gallons, preferably like 50 or 60 gallons. But because he's a baby, I have him in a 20 gallon and I should be upgrading him and getting him friends as he grows. Hopefully that can happen like next year. And down here I have another 20 gallon tall. I have a female beta fish named Rainy in here. And I have two mystery snails, they're right here. There's Rainy in the back. I also have three Corydora catfish in here, two albino and one panda. And I'm planning to add purple haze guppies to this tank and we'll be breeding those. And I don't have this tank as planted as heavily as I would like it, but it's a lot of money to buy enough plants to heavily plant a 20 gallon. So I'm just buying them here and there and adding them as I go. I'll probably be adding more even later this week, actually. I also forgot to tell you guys, uh, my goldfish's name is Squid. There he is, say hi, Squid. <laughs> He's a little cutie. He's a ranchu goldfish. All right, now I'll show you another five and a half gallon tank that I have set up on my husband's desk. There it is. It's a little cloudy right now, mostly from the tannins from that log. But you can see Peacock there in the back. I have him in there and I have some orange Riley shrimp in there, which I'm not seeing any of those at the moment. And here's a fishbowl that I have set up in my bedroom. It has some Bloody Mary shrimp in it and they've been breeding. I don't see any babies in there, but there are some buried females in there. So I'm super excited about that. I plan on selling them in the future, but I need to get this bowl stocked a little heavier first. And now for my tanks in my living room, I have this six and a half gallon cube and I have this 10 gallon tank. Um, here in the 10 gallon is a female beta fish and a mystery snail and some nearite snails as well. And in here I have some neon tetras and a male beta fish, Finley. He's in here somewhere. Not sure where he's at. Let's see if we can find him. This tank is a mesh right now, honestly. It didn't have enough plants in it, so it got algae. Um, I do ecosystem tanks, so typically if I get algae, I just add more plants. I don't like try to pull it all out. But this tank is kind of a mess. And I don't know where Finley is. He's obviously hiding somewhere in there. I also have like one blue shrimp in here that is supposed to be giving birth here pretty soon if she hasn't already. I don't know where she's at either. So I mean, I guess this tank is planted heavily enough that I can't even find the fish in it. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's coming out. He's hiding behind his tannins leaf. Or catapa leaf, I guess is what it would be called. This is Fable. Isn't she so pretty? So I tried to breed her and Finley and Finley was interested, Fable was not. She was actually mean to him and then he got mean to her and it just was not working out. I've watched YouTube videos on breeding betta fish and the, the only thing that I did differently was I didn't, I wasn't feeding them high enough protein foods. 
So I think I'll look into that and see if that makes a difference. But I think I'm going to change some things up and maybe hold off on breeding beta fish until I have more resources. And I think I'm going to do it a very different way, a very unconventional way, but I'm not going to say yet until I've done it and know if it works or not before I like advise any of you guys to do it or not to do it. And now over here, I have this two and a half gallon tank. Um, Marble lives in here. He has sinking swim bladder disorder. I bought him from Petco with that issue, hoping to heal him. And he did get a little better but he never fully improved. So this two and a half gallon tank is just his home. Here, let me fix the lights. There we go. Now you guys can see him better and see the plants in there. He loves laying up at the surface in this rotala so that he doesn't have to sink down to the bottom. You can see he's fairly mobile. He could probably have a little bigger tank, but he's pretty comfortable in here and I would hate to stress him out by moving him. And then over here by my front door, I have my least favorite. This is a fishbowl. It has no light. It's very low tech, no heater. Um, I need to add a heater to it so I can add shrimp. There's some Anubias, like Anubias Petite glued to this driftwood. And then I have some like a boost plant, boost philandra back in here on this rock. And yes, that's all snail poop on the rock. I have pest snails in here to help like cycle the bowl for me. And then I have the pothos on the log, the bamboo. I think with my fish bowls here in the future, what I'm going to do is just plant them heavily with stem plants and not try to escape them because I don't know if you haven't already noticed this, but I'm not an aquascaper. I'm not good at aquascaping at all. Um, so I don't like this scape, and I think from here on out, my bowls will just be stem plants. In fact, I will probably be redoing this bowl along with the one in my room. So, yeah, that's the last of my fish tanks. I hope you enjoyed looking at them. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm open for um, constructive criticism and what you think I could be doing differently. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed seeing all of my tanks and would like getting updates on individual fish and what I'm doing in the future with my tanks and fish, please subscribe.